guys welcome to another amazing fun fantastic phenomenal episode of trending brought to you of course by our amazing sponsors airtel my name is nancy isime and i am your host as always on this show we bring you everything and everyone that is trending but before we go into the business of the day we we'll take a short break and when i come back i'll be unveiling who my guest is today trust me it's an amazing person you don't want to miss this stay with me guys <music> Welcome back. Now, before I went on a break, I was about to unveil who my guest is, and I'm about to do that now. My guest on the show today happens to be Nigerian super actress, singer, and songwriter, and I call her Poco Lee. Give it up for Tonto D. Hey girl, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you look really radiant I and do. so beautiful. Yes. You so do. happiness can come. I know, right? I've I've seen a lot of your posts recently. <laughs> You've been really happy, which yes, I'm I have saying been. is totally amazing. Now before we go into the interview properly, um, let's talk about your style in a style update segment. Um, tell us what you're wearing and the inspiration behind it. Um, I'm wearing a Stella Makati. Okay. And I'm being uh, dressed up by House of Marvelous. Oh, nice. Yeah, she styled me for today. Amazing. My, my stylist took a break today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing, amazing. So what would you call your style, really, your fashion sense? Um, I'm not sure what to say, but I do know that I just love feet, comfortable clothing. Okay. Anything really comfortable. I'm not really a very trendy person when it comes to my clothing. I just okay. love it when I just can just go I dress up in like five minutes. Oh, wow. Not like a regular girl who dress up in like 20. Mine takes about 45 <laughs> minutes. So. Oh, you see, 20 <laughs> was cheap for me. <laughs> but, and you just cut your hair? I, I yes, like I did. This style. It's yes, really, I did. It's very beautiful. Thank you. Now, how did you come about the name Poco Lee? Uh, well, the Lee was it came later on, okay. but the poco had stuck with me from secondary school. Wow! Yeah, it was actually stolen from some some guy. His <laughs> name was Poco, and I've always loved that name. Of like, you know, if I leave secondary school, I'm gonna steal your name. <laughs> so once I left secondary school, I stole his name. Mm, amazing, yeah. amazing. Now let's talk about your career. You yeah. started acting in 2005, 2006, actually 2006. Yeah. The reality show was 2006. Five. It was 2005. Five. So and it was called the next movie, movie star. star. Yeah. And you were runner up. Tell yeah, I was the first runner up. Which That's is the second person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Tell us your journey so far. Uh, it was very exciting the first time being on camera. I was yeah. very naive about everything, but yeah. um, I just knew that I I was in it to win. There was no turning back. Mm -hmm. It was not something that I had I, I knew to do. Mm -hmm. I was an engineer, and wow. it was so so far from what I knew. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I was just determined, and. I came second, and after that, Nolly was just, just embraced me. Did you ever see yourself as an actor, as an actress? Did no. you ever think in a thousand years? No, yeah. I always saw myself offshore, wearing the helmets <laughs> and the baggies, and you know, going underwater, you know, drilling wow. oil, and wow. that's what I've I had passion for. Wow. Yeah. So how did it come to you? Apart from you know, had you? Did you think about it and then decided, okay, you know what, I think this TV show is the best way to start? No, they actually just... looked for me. Wow. Yeah, I was swimming in a, in a, my father's um, um, hotel. Yeah. And, um, no, my father's friend's hotel. Okay. And um, some people just walked up to me and like, we'd like to interview you. We have something going up upstairs and mm -hmm. it's about TV. Mm -hmm. We have people going to be in the house. Mm -hmm. I've never even heard about a reality TV show before in my wow. life. That was wow. the first time. Yeah. And being from Port Harcourt, then we we're really, really, really laid back, mm -hmm, especially mm -hmm. entertainment. Not now that everything is really hippie there. Yeah. So um, I decided to give it a go. My younger brother was like, well, it won't hurt to do it. Just try. Yeah. And I think when I went up, they said, cry. I'm like, see these people. <laughs> I beg you, cry. I, I think I just did something. I, just, I don't know. It just mm -hmm. welled up. Like, it was not something I've done before, mm -hmm. but it just welled up. And I gave them a tear. And they were like, wow. Wow. They said, ask something else again. I did it like, wow. Mm -hmm. And really, naturally, I'm very, I use my hands a lot. I'm very expressional. I'm like, okay. I, this is just me. So exactly. I think that's what they were looking for. And okay. they just did your family accept it, though? No, no. My father wasn't really happy with it. I mean, where I come from, being an engineer, it's a hot cake. Wow. You cannot leave it for something like entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah. He but wasn't. What is, what is his reaction now? Now. See how he, far you've come. He, he is 
I wouldn't say he's accepting okay. of it, but no, I wouldn't say that he is hap uh, totally happy, okay. but he's uh, very accepting. Okay. Like, okay, if that's what you want to do, it's worked for you so far, you mm -hmm. know, but you know, still go back to engineering. Engineering, yeah. just because, but I feel like it's like a backup plan in case, you know, later on in life you decide, okay, you know what, I think I still have that passion for engineering. No, I, I actually think entertainment is the backup plan. Mm. Engineering so you think you do is this my life. Oh. Yeah. So how do you intend to balance that? Because I, I know you're definitely not practicing engineering now. Do you have I have think? started practicing engineering. Really? Tell us I about that. I have not been in the movie scene for about two, three, two, three years. I've okay. been very um, scarce there. Okay. And I've used that to open up my own engineering company. And okay. I started to venture into engineering and go back to my books to actually read and know what, what it is. Uh, petrochemical engineering. Wow. That's tough. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Right? You see beauty and brains. <laughs> now tell us, what has been the most challenging role for you? Or what was the challenging role? Mm. I know you've been off um, since you've been really scarce for like three years now, like you said. But what would you say, okay, looking back, um, oh. is the most challenging role for you? I can't put my finger across it mm -hmm. but the thing is every role you play is challenging because it is someone else's life it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a life that you have to imbibe so every role is challenging mm -hmm. but the most challenging at this moment because you asked yeah I can't remember <laughs> <laughs> now it's been said that um, at age 14 you started smoking 13 13 you started smoking and um, you recently and there's been reports that recently you stopped smoking not after recently four years ago Four years ago, wow, that you stopped smoking after uh, an intervention um, yes. by Pastor T.B. Joshua. True. And you were watching his program and then you prayed with him and that was it. Do you want to yeah. talk about that? Um, like you said, that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. I was watching his program and um, um, it was, he was praying for someone else and it was like a joke, like how could someone come up because I'm smoking, you know, <laughs> try to get him from smoking. I just laughed at the guy, but I am a firm believer of God and okay. wherever they say pray, I pray and I don't get ashamed about it. I could stop on the road, I could pray, I could stop in the club, I could pray, mm -hmm. doing work, I could pray. So I was like, okay, you know what, it won't hurt to do that. Yeah. And I laid my hands on the TV and I did feel something though, I would not lie, but I was like, please. You know, and I slept off for hours, and after I woke up, I took a stick of Siggy, and you could it like, was like poison. I was like, oh, wow. what am I doing to myself? Like, that was the first thing that came to myself. What am I doing to myself? Like, mm -hmm. don't I love myself so much? To stop this? To stop this. Not, not even to stop this, mm -hmm. because it, it was like taking acid. Wow. The, the taste changed, everything changed, and I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I that thing worked. <laughs> it worked, and I respected the fact that God had um, done that, and mm -hmm. I just stayed away. Do you think he would, he would have done it through any other person? Oh apart yes, from oh yes, oh yeah. I think it could have been through any other person, especially when you believe and you worship the true God. Yes. Yeah, it can be. There's God everywhere. I say. Okay. Yeah, it could mm -hmm. even come through me, my yes. prayer, my fasting. If mm -hmm. I had done it, if I wanted to change, mm -hmm. yeah. So. So you don't think it just had only he only had to do with you know um, Pastor TB Josh right now? Um, I love him and he's a very strong man of God. Okay. But I think that anybody, and not have. not anybody, any believing man Christian could have done that. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Now let's talk about what is really trending at the mm. moment. Um, we're talking about your introduction Ooh. to <laughs> Mr. X, and uh, you finally revealed his identity, yeah. and uh, you know the speculations that um, we don't know why you hid it for so long. But there's been so many speculations. People have said this. People have said that. Do you want to address that properly? Um, the reason why I didn't hide it, okay, because I was very proud of it to actually name Mr. X and mm -hmm. Mrs. X. Very, mm -hmm. very proud of it. Mm -hmm. But that was something that I've. That's one of the only things I've respected so much in my life, wow. and uh, it needed privacy, and it needed to grow, mm -hmm. and it needed to. I just needed him to myself. I didn't want to share him to the world. Had you had like, any previous experiences or past experiences where you talked about your man or put your oh man out yes. there on social media oh, and oh yes, that? oh yes. That's the first thing that happens once you put, when, when you put them out there. They yeah. get the fame and you get the heartbreak. But I've never had the heartbreak though. Just oh, the that's what's up. Yeah, just the past. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I respect, I respect my relationship so much and mm -hmm. I didn't want anybody to get involved in it or try to, try to, talk 
in Come it. Out. Yeah, I just wanted to enjoy. Amazing. How would you say so far so good? What What would you say um, you've enjoyed most about the relationship? It's um, the relationship has made me a better woman. Mm -hmm. It's made me a grown woman. Wow. It's made me realize that I've made a lot of mistakes and that has to stop. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. he's changed my life. Um, Mr. X, if you're watching this, you're the man. You're the main man. High five or chop knuckle. But <laughs> well, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, still on your engagement, um, how were you able to keep it, you know, top-notch secret, like nobody knew about it, until boom, it was on social media? Because if you had put it out there, trust me, the whole of Nigeria would yeah. bombarded the, uh, the the venue. But how were you able to keep it off? Um, I before before that relationship, I eradicated a lot of the bad eggs in my life. Okay. All the friends that actually um, weren't supposed to be in my life. Mm. Those were the people generally who would have actually spoiled it for me, mm. and I I just I've I've been alone. Wow. I've been alone. I don't have friends. I don't keep friends. I don't do friendship. I don't do visitings. Nobody visits me. Mm. So that worked. Mm. That Would works. you advise every other girl out there to do the same? It works for different people, different ways. But mm. I say that a private relationship is a happy one. Yes. Nothing public has ever been really, really, really happy. Mm. Aside from Auntie Joke. <laughs> I don't know how that woman does it. Auntie Joke. Like, oh my God, oh, Uncle yes. Lou. I don't yes. know how they do it. And Mercy Johnson, they seem mm -hmm. really happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you seem happy. I mean, I watched a video of you yeah. recently, and you went, yeah. "Oh, yeah," and I liked that. And you walked in here, and you just sparkled, yes. and you just looked really good. Um, what a lot of people don't know is um, you're actually married. Yes. Yes, and you got married six months ago. Yes. Court wedding. <laughs> and in case you don't know, you're in first year on trending. Do you want to talk about that? And your ring is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. It's like what? Thank you. Amazing. Oh, the second one is on the way. Ah, yeah. please do. I would love to see that because this one is already mad. The second yeah, one should I've be. I've always wanted a Kim Kardashian kind of ring, and he's wow. getting it for me. Actually, yeah, I think it should be on the way. Mr. X, you're the man. You're the main man. But tell us about your wedding, and you, nobody knew about it. There was no picture. There was just no. this um, introduction. So why yes. did you keep it up? That um, the same reason why I'm still going to keep it away and just. Mm -hmm. Accept your congratulations and not talk about it. My marriage is not for everybody. It's not even for the public. I know mm -hmm. you guys love me and you really want the gist, but I'm sorry. That's private. He's my man, and I won't talk about him. Amazing. Well, your white wedding will we get to find? Of out course, about that? oh no, of course, definitely. Mm -hmm. That's the show. Mm -hmm. That's the show I want to put up for all of you. Wow. So definitely, you would you know yeah. about the white wedding. Yeah, definitely. I would look forward to that. Hopefully, it would it would be a destination wedding. Yes. Um, Are you thinking destination? I wish. And I hope it's not, because I do not understand the reason why people shy away from having their weddings here. I know it's a lot expensive here in Africa to do your wedding and mm -hmm. to do it really elaborately, but I would like to prove a point, you know, and spend some real good money on my wedding. Hmm. Yeah. And spending right here in Nigeria. Yeah. I could do some other things, you know, Abroad. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe like a reception, yeah. another small little thing, but mm -hmm. I really would love to, but you know, I'm not a single girl anymore that could take decisions. Exactly. Your yeah. man has to be a part of it. But we look forward to that. Thank now, you. Now, turn to the key. A lot of people have said, and there's been a lot of speculations, a lot of reports, that you are pregnant. <laughs> I heard that too, you know, but I was very happy hearing it. But only thing is that the pregnancy they put was like that big. <laughs> yeah, I saw it was like that big. So that, it doesn't really, like, I... So, I even have a six-pack, don't I? <laughs> But, but you know that I claim it. I claim it. I think mm -hmm. that's um, that's like a prophecy. So mm -hmm. I claim it. Every girl's dream. I amen. claim it. Amen. Amen. I'm sure very soon we'll get we'll get to that and we'll sure. we'll come for your your name ceremony. I'm sure. Soon. Um, your baby's name is ceremony. Sorry, not you. <laughs> <laughs> your name is ceremony. But I look forward to that though. Thank now, you. recently or not too recent, uh, like a year ago. Um, you came up um, and you, you came up in this post where you really opened up about um, trying to commit suicide, attempted suicide, yeah. and you didn't go through with it. What made you come to that decision? Um, unhappiness is the greatest or the worst or the most deadliest disease anybody could actually be infected with. But I'm grateful that I overcame that mm -hmm. and now I'm a different person. But what really brought you to that stage? That I, you stage? can never tell. I don't mm. know. I had so much money. I was doing so well. Yeah. 
everything was going on so well for me. It wasn't like nothing was going on so well. I mean, that was the point where I, where I, I had like the most of everything. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what it was. I, I really don't know. Maybe I had just been angry for so long, mm -hmm. or yeah. maybe been depressed for so long I never knew. And um, it just came out. Yeah, it just came out. Did you seek help for that? Did you? Yes, I did. I, I I did. I went. I I went to rehab. I, oh, wow. Um, yeah. And I um, not rehab for drugs. I know, like rehab, the rehab, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, <laughs> I, we locked I up somewhere. A, <laughs> I saw the help of shrinks, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, they helped. I think the biggest solution to that was um, actually me turning back to God, because mm -hmm. I'd, I'd always been a very good Christian before I got into the movie industry, almost mm -hmm. a pastor, mm -hmm. if you would say. And um, yeah. going back to God was something that actually took it all away and gave me a new belief, mm -hmm. a new understanding to life, mm -hmm. made me appreciate myself more, mm -hmm. made me appreciate the situation that I was in more. Mm -hmm. And now I can actually be able to teach people who suffer in depression what it is and how to overcome it. Amazing, so. amazing, amazing now. But um, let's talk about movies. Um, are you planning to take, an, to take on any upcoming roles? In this? No, be looking not, out for something? not anytime soon. Why? I'm still taking a break. I How long do you think this break will go for? I'm not sure. Do you think it will lead to yourself, to you retiring? Um, well, that would be the best thing for me, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure where God wants me to be at this point, so I'm just going to take it one step at a time. I might okay. get bored not doing anything, anything, but right now I'm not you're at not. all. So you're yeah. looking at retiring for, for good? I've always said I wanted to retire very early. Yeah. All, all, all I ever worked for was money, and I have a lot of it, so... I Can don't I think get that. some of it, please? Oh, please, work for you. <laughs> Girl, I'll work for my work. Since you have so much, I can come and take some, you know, to buy myself some designers. Yeah. At, the, at the end of the day, what we all work for it. Yes, yes. That's, that's the whole purpose. I'm not, like, bragging or anything, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just the whole purpose of everything, so... Mm -hmm. I would like to retire very, very yeah. early in life, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But something I want to actually venture into, which I don't see as retirement, mm -hmm. or which I don't see as work, is being behind the camera. I, I'm actually, uh, I just actually applied for um, um, cinematography. Wow. Yeah, I love the job they do. I love being behind the camera. So would you like to be like a, a camera? Director, no, a cameraman. That's what I want to be. Really? Yeah, as a cameraman. Like be behind the camera. Yes, being the person operating the camera, like what he does, what he does, what he does. Like, oh my that's God, what I that is, do. That, who would have expected that? I mean, that but I that is that. the whole point of you being on TV in the first place. Without mm. them, this is nothing. True. I'm sure their heads are, so, they're so happy now. Look at them, they're like, <laughs> oh, without us. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah, you guys, you heard it. Without the cameraman, you can't make nothing. And um, we on TV will not be on TV right now. So shout out to all the cameramen out yeah. there. And um, in case you're expecting free money, <laughs> I told you, work for your money. Get to work in that hard work will bring you all the money you need. All right, guys, we'll go on to the next segment of the show, which is a video of the day. But we'll be right back with more entertainment. Stay with us, guys. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, I have Pokoli, the actor the singer, the very beautiful woman, the very talented babe, Tonto DK. The way you call me Poco, people forget my name is Tonto. <laughs> but I like, I like the whole Poco Lee vibe. I it's know. like, it's extremely, it's very, you know, very hippie. But guys, we'll move on to the next segment of the show called the Fast Fire Question segment, where Tonto DK gets to give us um, some answers under 60 seconds. Mm. Yes. Are you okay. ready? Okay. Time starts now. Your first crush. Oh, nobody knows him. I don't think anybody knows him. Anyway, you can call his name just in case he's watching. Uh, <laughs> I'm married. I can't do that. <laughs> okay, your favorite movie? Um, Pretty Woman. Your best kiss? My husband's kiss. Bahamas or Dubai? Bahamas. Music or movies? Both. Worst date? Never had one. Most memorable day? The day I got married. Meek Mill or Drake? Oh, I love Meek Mill. Meek and I love Drake. <laughs> so difficult. <laughs> the both of them. Okay, Nicki Minaj or Beyonce? Nicki Minaj. Boat or airplane? Airplane. 
Amazing, amazing. You did well on your 60 seconds. Did I? Yes, you did well. You did very well. Okay, guys, we'll move on to the next segment of the show, which is called the Tribe Segment, where you get to give us full meanings of social media aberrations and slangs. Okay. Yes, trust me, it's not that bad. It's still <laughs> quite easy. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. L-M-A-O. Laughing my ass out. B-R-B. Be right back. Y-G-T-R. No idea. You got that right. That's <laughs> what it means. You got that right. Seriously? <laughs> yes. Like Y G T R. That's what it means? Yeah. That's what no, it means. I meant like I have no idea. Yeah, but... but totally. Totally, but it, it means... Y G T R means you got that right. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Like you got that right. Yeah, okay, you okay, got okay. that right. <laughs> okay. okay. But CC? Um, I, I don't know. I use it a lot. I don't know. Carbon copy, though. Carbon. Yeah, carbon copy. Um, L W K M D. L laugh one key me die. Yes, so that's how we <laughs> roll. S M H. Shaking my head. Yolo. You are on your uh, no. Uh, you only live one. That's the motto. Yeah, you okay. only live one. Only once. live one. Yeah. That's the motto. Okay. Um, Q O T D. No idea. N V O Q O T D means quote of the day. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes. N V M. NVM, no idea. <laughs> it means never mind. I know, but you did so well. So, I so didn't. You, you did well, <laughs> trust me. At least we were able to answer half of it or something. Okay. You did really well. All right, guys, we're going to break now. But when we come back, it'll be time for nasty comments. They're not going away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Trending. It's still Nancy Simaya. I still have Tonto DK, aka Pokoli, on the hot seat. And we're just about to start the nasty comment segment where we get to see the nasty things that some people have to say about her on social media. It is time for the nasty comment segment. Now, Tonto, how this works is you're going to, I'm going to give you this iPad. You're going to go through some of the comments that your fans have left for you and you're going to just read out and react to them. Okay. Okay, so here you go. Just this one down there. Oh, I didn't even bring my glasses. Where? From here. Las Gidi said, I believe she needs anger rehabilitation therapy. Yeah, true, I needed that, and I have. And I'm good now. <laughs> um, I can't pronounce this name. It's a needs to grow up. She's a poor role model for aspiring actresses. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. um, someone says, She's too dumb and obvious sisterly little girl. We pray she grows up. Thank you for your prayers because it worked. And now a woman. Um, Evan says, Tonto Dike is so childish with mm. her arrogant and stupid behavior. No. Well, sometimes you make me arrogant and stupid. Yes, but I have changed. <laughs> Lulu says, whack. She's got no voice. The band Tonto is a wrong Move, swear down. Mm. Let's see. Reef Raff says, <laughs> Yvonne and Tonto used to fight over in Yanya. Rumor has it that Tonto is behind the breakup between the crew, Kerry, Guy, and Yvonne. Firstly, I have no idea where this story is coming from or why it should even generate. But the mm. truth is, I wish everybody well. Mm. That's all. Wow, wow, you took that really well. So it's, it, that means nothing even happened between yourself and Never. Never. Okay, okay, so I wonder where that came from. I wonder where it came from, really. Wow, wow, well, thank you so much for coming thank on you. the show. I had so much fun with you. And I had so much fun here, too. Thank you, thank you. I hope to have you here soon again. And thank you for opening up to us and letting us know everything that's going on. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, right now you're going to see the top five most expensive cars in the whole world wide world. Enjoy. Wow, wow, wow. Did you see those cars? I hope to get me one of those cars someday, you know? Wouldn't you be so beautiful if I had one of those flashy rides? I think I'll look good in one of them. <laughs> well, prayers, prayers, prayers. I hope you guys had so much fun today on the show because I did. Tonto DK spilled quite a lot 
And um, I hope you got to pick one or two things from that. Well, make sure to join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at Hip TV and on Instagram at Trending on Hip TV. You can also watch us online at www.hiptv.tv. You can also follow me on Instagram at Nancy Isime Official. And until um, I see you next time, make sure you keep it locked and you stay blessed. Goodbye. Thank you.